So today I'm going to be presenting something which absolutely blew my mind, and this was actually given to me by my good friend known as Music Vidiot and Delta. I'll leave a link to the Reddit page and his YouTube channel down in the description below, and this just blows my mind. Rockstar have deliberately done a series of very small changes to give us one of the greatest mysteries of the entire Grand Theft Auto series. So getting straight into it, we're going to be focusing on the Galileo Observatory and and this is the official site of the observatory in LA and straight away you can see there's loads of planetary plates and planetary lines, orbits, everything to do with planets and where they're situated around the observatory. Now this site will give you a whole lot more depth in the insight of how this works. If you don't quite understand exactly what I'm talking about, you will, I promise I'll try and make this as simple formed as possible. So for the past few seconds I've been showing off my character just walking around these golden brass plated tiles. These are actually planetary tiles along their orbital line which are etched into the ground of the real life observatory as you can see in the image above. This is just some cool trivia about the observatory in LA but for some reason Rockstar Games took out every single planet and just included the orbital planetary plates for the planet Uranus and this is very secretive and sly of Rockstar. Who would know that the real life observatory actually contains several other planets every single planet all etched into the ground and Rockstar only included the one from Uranus. I don't think many people would know that, but taking a look at Uranus and some of the trivia and facts about it, one of the outer rings of Uranus is actually called Epsilon, and Epsilon is the fifth ring of Uranus, the outermost ring of this planet. If you're a bit confused, then don't worry. I'll put this into practice and tell you how all of this works. So you must make sure you are looking at a quarter moon, which appears every three to four weeks or so in GTA time. This will of course be much easier if you're using your PC and you have mods enabled or something. But if you come over to this location around 1.30 in the morning on a Monday or a Tuesday, take a look at the small brass block in the ground. And what you will notice is the eye actually making its way into the brass block in the ground. But something interesting about the quarter moon is that this appears to be winter solace, the time the moon is highest in the sky. So this will actually line up not only with the sundial plate, but also with the two lines leading you to Uranus. Now this will honestly make so much more sense as we continue with this, but just think of the observatory as one huge lunar dial. I say lunar because sundial, it's not really using the sun. We're using the moon for this one and honestly it makes so much more sense. I hope this is making sense to you guys. If it's not, let me know down in the comments. Anyway, moving on to another location in GTA 5, we're going to come over to Salvation Mountain, which is up at Sandy Shores, and you can actually see the text, Take Me Up Uranus. And to many players, including myself, I honestly thought this was a joke. Like, okay, they're just having a bit of fun using Uranus and they're saying, take me up and stuff. There's also loads and loads of other quotes saying, beam me up Uranus. But also, taking a look around this camp, something which I noticed is that there's loads of sun symbols. If you Google it, the first one which comes up, you will see the sun symbol etched into the stone. And not many people would exactly know exactly what this is, but I put this into practice and it appears to be both night and day. I will show you that a bit later on. Now, the reason why I came up with this theory is because it actually fades as we get higher up the mountain. So it pretty much disappears, just like a sun would set or a moon would rise. So taking a look at this, the sun will actually rise on the left hand side and that is what everything on the left hand side is showing. It's showing the sun. And as the path enters into Salvation Mountain, that is exactly where the moon will come up, just on the right hand side. And then it will settle down exactly where the path pretty much enters in. So the path in the middle of Salvation Mountain is the difference between day and night, if that makes sense. They have their own sort of sundial or a way of telling time by just using the dials around Salvation Mountain, both day and night. And we also see the exact same thing 
on the Griffiths Observatory, a more complex and sophisticated way of showing it, so I'm going to try and explain this in the easiest form to understand. Now, like many of us think, this is a sundial. This is wrong. The Griffiths Observatory is not a sundial. Instead, it's a lunar dial. If this was a sundial, then we would see plates on the right-hand side where the sun would rise and set, but for some whatever reason, Rockstar didn't include this because this is all about planetary lines. Now, if you look on the left-hand side, this is a lunar dial. Where the black shadow is casted, it will move from the left to the right, lining its way up with the golden lines, so at the bottom golden line, that is where the moon will rise, and on the top golden line, that is where the moon will set. In the middle is exactly pretty much midnight, and what you can see at this point is that it has lined its way up in the middle. Now something pretty different and significant about this image is that this will only occur every three to four weeks in GTA time, around 1.30 in the morning on a Monday or Tuesday. This is because it will be a quarter moon and it will also be winter solace, highest point in the sky, so the shadow will be the exact size you need it when it's casted into the ground along the golden line. I hope that cleared up a few things about the basics of this image and of the observatory. Now we're going to go onto the Uranus planetary line and the blue dots. So the blue dots are the plates you can see around the Griffiths Observatory in GTA 5. Now if you put a circle around it, it matches the exact same orbital line of Uranus, which you can see in the top right hand side of the official image of the Griffiths Observatory in LA. This is exactly what it's meant to be, exactly what it's meant to do. But something significant about this is Rockstar didn't include any other planetary plates. They didn't include any of that, they just included the Uranus planet. They could have easily built this exactly replicated from the Griffiths Observatory in real life, but for some reason they didn't, which it, it, it confuses me, but it also makes so much sense. The reason behind this is because taking a look at the Mount Chiliad mural, let's take a look at two guideline points which we discovered the other day. The first one is on the right hand side, which is this X, and this X can actually be seen in a certain location. But first... So this song was used in the official Grand Theft Auto 5 trailer before the game was released, and this actually points towards a truth which lies on the end of fingertips. Now using the Grand Theft Auto 5 map and pointing the atlas under a UV light, a secret road will appear in this general direction which creates a hand when you outline all of the lines, and on the fingertip of this hand you will see a cross etched into the ground which is the exact same cross from the Mount Chiliad mural. Using this guideline we decided to line up the other side of the mural with the jetpack you can see etched into the stone of the Outrust camp, and voila, we have now got the Mount Chiliad mural placed in the exact direction it's meant to be placed over San Andreas. But something interesting about this is that each X and each box will actually land on something very significant. I've shown this off in many live streams and videos, so I'm not going to show everything about where each X is and what it is. We're going to go over to the egg. So the egg is actually something very significant. If you take a look in the Epsilon's Bible, verse 1, chapter 3, you will see the quote, Indeed, there is a lake where truth lives, and in this lake an egg lived, and out of that egg came forth the whole world. And that world was this world, and this metaphor now ends, and a new one begins. The new metaphor is the tract and the tract is the truth and the truth form and a few ideas laid down and many left out. You will also see the Epsilon logo on the City of Los Santos badge and you will see many other significant Epsilon references, including the fifth most outermost ring of Uranus, the planet which Salvation Mountain wants to be beamed up to. Something is catching on with Epsilon and for some reason Rockstar have signified Epsilon as one of the most powerful groups groups in GTA 5. They have actually gone out of their way to eliminate every single planetary plate in the official Griffiths Observatory and just included the Uranus planetary plate, which of course is reference to Epsilon. Now, in my opinion, I have to say that Epsilon have a very strong, significant hold in GTA 5. For some reason, Rockstar have included this mystery and it goes far beyond the Mount Chiliad mural, far beyond any other mystery, and it makes me think whether Rockstar intended to signify Epsilon in such a powerful way, I don't know, 
I just have to bring this out to you guys. It's a pretty insane Easter egg and it's a pretty insane mystery, but everything points toward Epsilon. It's like Epsilon have some freakish control over this game. It's like Rockstar want us to keep looking at this group, at the program and the influence it holds. Anyway guys, I hope this did help you out. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. As we have dug deeper into this mystery, we have unlocked a whole bunch of more questions which need to be answered and I want to know your answers in the comments. Now if you have any thoughts about this, if you have any clues, any directions of where you would like me to go, let me know down in the comments section below. I'm going to be live streaming this tonight and I'm also going to be including some new information in that live stream so make sure you do look forward to that. Anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy. Be sure to smack that like button and also don't forget to click that subscribe button as well if you are new here as you will never miss out on any more Grand Theft Auto 5 content every single day. Anyway guys, my name is Nort and I will see you guys next time.